Hey guys, Anthony here for Signal by Sony. I've got Andy Gauss here with me. Hello. And we are in Sony's CES booth surrounded by all of the many colors of the rainbow. Yes, this is called a Horizon display and they incorporated it into their press conference yesterday and right now this is kind of this cool, colorful, swirling 360 rainbow. Yeah, but it's they're using it for all festive. kinds of things throughout the day. And you were at the press event. Yes. A uh, lot of cool stuff announced. Mm -hmm. We covered a lot of it on Signal already. Tons of videos you can check out. But there is so much more. Yes, and this is really cool because it's our chance to get up close and personal and test out all the technology for ourselves. So yeah. what are you going to check out? I am definitely going straight to 4K TVs. How about you? I'm going to see what the One Touch thing is about. Okay. Meet back here? All right. Cool. See ya. Obviously, the biggest news this year was 4K, 4K everything. I'm standing right in front of the new 65-inch 4K TV that was just announced. And obviously, like being here at the booth gives you a much better sense of what this is going to look like. This is kind of like when HD first came out or 3D first came out, where you really have to kind of see it to believe it. So here in front of the 65-inch, they also have the 55-inch, the 84-inch on display. They have that OLED prototype. 4K TV out here and it looks amazing. You can also see the prototype of the 4K player and just all the different ways that you can get 4K content. Showing off those 4K mastered Blu-rays that are made to look better on your 4K TV. Showing off sports, showing off what 3D looks like in 4K. So this is really a place to get a feel for the new technology. But it's not just about 4K. There are also some strides being made in the 1080p TVs and the other HD TVs that we already see on the market. So one of the coolest new things that Sony showed off this year is something called One Touch. And this uses a technology called NFC, Near Field Communication, to basically communicate anything that's on your phone to any number of devices around the home. Those can be speakers, other phones or tablets, or even your TV. So say you have a song on your phone you want to listen to on the speaker instead. You'll just find the song, here we go and then you'll just touch it to the speaker. You'll find this symbol, and voila. So between phones and tablets too, you can also share anything you have on your phone, whether that be media or contacts or pictures, videos, whatever, by just touching them together. So this is a really, really cool, easy, convenient way to share media between all your devices, speakers, TVs, other phones, tablets, without any additional setup. It's really, really easy, and all it takes is literally one touch. So NFC technology is still really new, and we should point out that these are all Sony to Sony only right now, because Sony it really is the first to bring this into your home in this way, connecting all of your devices around the home. So it's also a cool glimpse into where things are headed in the future. So we've seen 4K, but there is a lot going on across all of the home theater department, including Triluminous, which is a new technology which increases the color range of HD TVs. And it does it through a mix of the Bravia X Reality Pro engine and a new backlighting system that work together to give you clearer, sharper color. And once again, this is one of those things that when you're at the booth, you can really, really see the difference. And that's what's cool, because you can hear about these things, but it makes a big difference to be standing in front of them and seeing them with your own eyes. What we haven't seen yet is Sony's line of new portable speakers. All of these are wireless, NFC, and Bluetooth enabled, and compatible with most phones. I like this design here. This is an egg shape. It gives you 360 sound and can also do speakerphone, which is pretty cool. We have some fun designs here. I like this old school kind of boombox look. And then finally, we have our premium Bluetooth speakers. This one in particular will give you 40 watts of sound and also has magnetic speaker fluid, which is what's used in Sony's premium home entertainment. So here in the digital imaging section of the booth, you're going to see everything, all the handy cams, all the DSLRs, all the mirrorless cameras. You're going to see stuff like the RX1 on display, which is a really cool camera to play with. The RX100, which was, of course, Time's invention of the year. They're also showing off all the new connectivity stuff in the cameras. So we saw Wi-Fi added to a lot of cyber shots and, of course, the NEX line. And we also saw apps added to the cameras. And now they're showing off what you're going to be able to do with those apps. So this is a time-lapse app that actually takes a series of photos in your camera and automatically builds them into a video file so you don't have to do it on the computer. There's also a cinematic photo app so you can take a series of photos and then choose what area you want to move in the photo and the rest of it stays clear. You can also see the new handy cams with projectors 
They've improved those. They've also added an input to those handy cams. So now you can use that projector for anything you have in your house, not just content that comes directly from the camera. So over here where they're showing off the action cam and all the new accessories for the action cam, this is a pet mount. I want this. I want to have this on my dog. You can also get a surfboard mount now, a wrist mount. You can get a sled that turns your action cam into a camcorder. Lots of cool stuff, lots of different fronts for different activities. So you can change the shape of the lens if you're underwater. So they're adding a lot of stuff to the action cam lineup. So a lot of cool stuff going on in digital imaging this year. And of course the entire PlayStation line is here, the entire Vio line is here, and even if new products weren't announced, they're using these products together in the displays in new and exciting ways. So you get to demo technology you may already own in ways that you didn't know you could use it. So, how many Ks did you see? I saw like four Ks. How many touches did you do? Just one. That's all, all you needed. All it takes. That's all it is. So, remember, we have tons more content here from CES. You can catch everything, product breakdowns, sony.com slash CES, youtube.com slash signal. And whether you're here or not, you can be part of the booth. Yes. If you hashtag Sony CES either on Twitter or Instagram, you could have your tweet or your photo featured up on this beautiful Horizon display that we mentioned earlier. So it's kind of just, just like being here. Super awesome. Yeah, I'm going to um, go back and check out some more 4Ks. I'm going to go do a touch. Okay. Uh, one more.